Welcome back to Jade Empire. Last time we defeated the bandits that harassed two rivers. And now we have to go back and talk to Master Lee. But first and foremost, let's talk to Fendo. Those bandits will think twice before threatening a town protected by the likes of Master Lee. They were fools to even come here. The only shame is that their ship sunk. Think what we could have done with their plunder. Ah, uh, well, that's another opportunity lost. Well, yeah. That's what happens in sometimes. In this town, it's vital for a businessman to keep tabs on anyone with two coins to rub together. Things haven't been this slow since the long drought. So business that is slow. of yours keeps things ludicrously stable while merchants thrive on strife. During the long drought, prices rocketed into the sky like fireworks. You don't like Master Lee's leadership. I can't say that. He's a wise man who sees to the heart of things. If I were to complain about anything, it's how few students he attracts. A skilled master could bring a lot of people into this town, but he is very selective about who comes. That's his business, I'm sure, but it affects my business as well. There's no trade to be found in stability. I get by. I suppose I shouldn't wish for strife, lest it come knocking on my door. Besides, the bandits didn't do as much to bring people to the store as I hoped. So maybe stability is underrated. Let's talk about what you can do for me. Happily. We don't need to waste time on my gripes when there's silver to be spent. Um... Tell me about yourself. Well, there isn't much to tell. I'm just a simple merchant trying to ply his trade in a town that resists spending money. A One move. day the gods will recognize my suffering and elevate me to their ranks. Yeah, right. Other questions? If you w uh, about the village. You'd think the recent attack would have people buying supplies or weapons or something. But alas, business has not improved. Who is important around here? Who could be more important than Master Lee? He is the anchor of this town, and none question his wisdom. Two Rivers has always accepted the masters of your school as leaders, but none have taken to it with the skill, authority, or wisdom of your master. Okay. How are the students viewed? No different from anyone else. If you keep to yourself, no one bothers you. Are there exceptions? Well, you are always asking questions. That can be tiring. Although I do prefer that over Gao's posturing, he is not well liked. But his father has money, so he gets his way. Well, money only gets you that far. And I am asking the question because I'm trying to establish the lore of this game. Um, other questions? About the Jade Empire. I've never set my eyes beyond the horizon you can see from here. There must be someone else you could ask. Yeah, we've asked the old, old man. The spirit world, what do you know about it? I send my thanks to the spirit for successful journeys just like everyone else. I don't have any special insight. Why not ask your friend there? Dawn Star knows more about the spirit realm than anyone, it seems. She's been a great help from time to time. I do what I can to help, good merchant. That's all any of us can do. Let's talk about the long drought. I grew up during the worst of it, but I don't remember much. Just the joy when the Emperor put an end to it. Two Rivers was almost deserted by that time, but Master Lee arrived soon after, and we've had peace ever since. Great. How was the drought stopped? I don't know. That's why the Emperor is the Emperor, and I'm content to be here. I don't need to worry about it. Other questions? Let's see what he has for sale. I have nothing at the moment. I can't keep my stock up. People are scared to travel, which prevents goods from getting here. I must apologize. How can you call yourself a merchant if you have nothing to sell? 
I do what I can, but the ghosts and bandits limit travel. They viciously force many caravans to turn back. To hear some of the caravan masters talk, there are problems of this type all over the Empire. I will be sure to let you know as soon as anything comes to town. Got it. Thank you. Goodbye for now. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. Okay, um... What's up here? I know we've explored... Oh yeah, this is the... No? Wait, let's take a look at the map. Is the journal the map? Oh yeah. And then Focus Shrine and Spirit Phone. Two Rivers Town Gate. We need to go to the school again. I could change the sword for the staff, I remember. But... I don't think... I'll do so. I don't need anything of the f spirit font or the focus shrine. So I, th I think we're just gonna go back to the school. What do you say, Downstar? Let's go back to the school. Which way is the school? Again, that's towards the beach and that's towards the school and before i do that i'll see you in i think i have to adjust some sliders okay that's that you have to, something to say for yourself cpat i knew you would not let those bandits overrun the village i hope i equal your skill someday only with dedication we can ask him questions please do not this is the first task i have been given and i don't want to get distracted Okay. If you are guarding this gate, let's make sure you know how to defend it. What do you mean? Some sort of test? Ask me anything. I am ready to try. Is this a fight? What are the main classifications of styles, student? Wait, I know this. Yes, it's weapon, martial, support, transformation, and magic. Got it. Weapon and martial styles are pretty self-explanatory. Support styles allow you to paralyze, slow, or otherwise hamper your foes. Okay. Magic styles allow you to use your chi to control the elements, while transformation styles allow you to assume the form of creatures or even demons. Nice! I'm only repeating what I have learned in my time here, senior student, but that was one of the first things I memorized. How does your Chi affect combat? Chi is our internal magical energy. Is that it? Yes. And we can use our Chi to hasten the healing process of superficial wounds. Additionally, Chi can be used to strengthen our blows, making the most of each strike. Nice. I'm sure that's right. I can't channel my Chi like you and Dawnstar yet, but one day. Dedication and perseverance. Okay, what do you know of Master Lee? Of his history? Uh, nothing. He is supposed to be a great master, but I just arrived, so I know very little about him. I wish I knew more, senior student, but that is all I can answer about our master. Okay. That will be all, student CPAT. Oh, good. I mean, yes, thank you, senior student, for the chance to answer your questions. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. Okay, that's where we'll go. Focus Shrine. Boy. That wizard with the bandits was scary, but he didn't last long against Master Lee. Nope, he didn't. He got his butt handed to him. Got his butt kicked by Master Lee. I heard some people died when the bandits attacked. I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, somebody got exploded. Remember that? Boom, cannon fire. One guy got totally demolished and two other died. Okay, um... Let's take a look at my journal.
That's all I have. Okay. Jing Woo. Kiamin. Let's talk to her. You are the hero of the moment. Gao claims that he dealt with hordes of bandits, but everyone else agrees that you turned aside their main attack. Of course I did. It is good that you were here. My foolish lack of attention forced Master Li to come to my rescue and left me with a wound that will take a few weeks to heal. What's that? I switched her finger. Master Li assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. What sort of prize? Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat. And just yesterday, I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. Interesting. We should do if that. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record. But I can't face anyone with this wound. Is there anything I can do to help with your wound? Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Masterly has already tended to it. Okay, great. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. Old Ming. That's the old man at the beach. Would this herb heal you quickly enough that you could fight again? I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. Do you remember if the herb grows around here? I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. Okay, um, how, mu how much would something like that cost? I'm not sure, but if you had to buy it, I'd happily pay you back for the trouble you went through. Okay. This wound will heal in time regardless, but I wouldn't complain if it knitted faster. All the quicker to return to my training. Uh, da, da, da. Where would I find Old Ming? When the beach? When he's not hollering at students for making too much noise, he's usually down by the beach looking after the statue of Emperor Sun. Okay, um... I think I know enough about this herb. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. If we I'm shall. lucky, he might know of an herb, and if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find some. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. It would be worth it to get back to training. Got it. Shall look for that herb. Um... I want to ask about the others at the school. I haven't talked to many of the newer students. The only one I have strong opinions about is Gao. He and I have sparred many times. He's come dangerously close to injuring me, and I've seen his aggression hurt others. I've expressed my concerns to Smiling Mountain, and he wisely advises me to focus on myself. If I let my anger get the better of me, I'm no better than Gao. Okay, yeah, true, true that. Gao is aggressive. Other questions? I'll answer what I can. Um... What do you think about Master Li? Master Li cares deeply for all of us, despite his stern demeanor. Look how he came to my rescue when the bandit's spell left me wounded. Do you have any idea why someone would be looking for Master Li? I've heard a rumor that the man leading the bandit seemed to know Master Li, but I really couldn't say why. It's scary to think they came here with a purpose, though. Why don't you ask Master Li? Other questions? Uh, do you know much about the rest of the Empire? I can only feed you answers that are common knowledge. Some of the other students might help you more. And we've talked about that Wen is the most already. widely traveled here, and Lin hasn't been able to stop talking about ghosts, which is a nice change from her talking about everyone else. <laughs> if you have questions about history or philosophy, I recommend avoiding us students. Learn about the past from those who were there. Okay. Goodbye for now. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after you talk to Old Ming, let me know. I will. Okay, so...
If we go to the journal, yeah, we have a new quest. Jingwu. Glad to see you're still well. By most reports, you faced down many of those bandits yourself. Impressive, senior student. Thank you. Most reports. Who disagreed? Huh. Who else? Gao the Lesser won't let a chance to glorify himself slip away. To hear Gao's side, he pushed back the bandits. But I know you dealt with the greater share of them. Sure. I was there. Of course, it was best that our master was there to deal with that sorcerer. The stories about their confrontation spread quicker than a plane's fire. That's not good. Okay, um... You're a student. You're Lin. Smiling Mountain. I heard how you faced those bandits in the village. Many people are impressed, but I expected no less. Your skill is a match for any rough bandit. Thank you, Smiling Mountain. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Are there students available to spar with? Yes, and the students are on edge from the bandit attack. It would do them good to work some of that out. It is a shame about Kia Min. She holds the record for the most opponents defeated in my little training challenge. No one can challenge her record while she is injured. Oh, really? I have a little something tucked away for anyone who can best Kia Min's feet. That includes you, of course, but any attempt will have to wait until she is healed. Um... Why does she hold the record? I know you held it until recently, but Kia Min has a knack for group fights, and she set a new bar just yesterday. Okay. As I said, I have a special incentive for anyone who can beat her performance. But you will have to wait until she is healed before I have enough students. Okay. I'll go see if there's any way to cure her wound. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. Okay, that means going back to the beach. Which I will do promptly. And because it's... Uh, Walk away, a trek away, I will see you there. Okay, we're at the beach. Mrs. John. Dawnstar, there you are. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while. I saw him again last night, and I remembered what you said. I wasn't as afraid. What are you talking I'm about? I'm glad, Mrs. Zhang. He seemed peaceful, if a bit lost. But I know it's not your fault now. I'm sorry for disturbing you and for what I said before. What was that all about? Remember Zhang Jin, her son? He drowned last year after the mooring she tied let go. A sad accident. I saw his spirit and told her. She thought I was calling up ghosts. Some spirits return because of trauma, to rectify something that disturbed them in life or death. They are very focused. When the pain is gone, they find rest. Okay. At least they are supposed to. Jin's spirit told his mother the accident wasn't her fault. Now he wanders unconnected to this world and unable to pass to the next. Troubled spirits can be set to rest for a time, but unless the greater problem is corrected, it seems all dead are destined to wander until they go mad. That's not good. I'm sorry. This has been difficult. I don't want to think about how it affects specific people. I'm still not sure I should have told Mrs. Zhang about her child. Which one of the three? Not not the last one. That's not how I imagine my character to be. You were right to console her, if, even if she didn't want to hear it. I don't know. People just want to be left alone with their grief. Sometimes, yes, and sometimes they I want. I guess blame they need is to easier to understand than chance. Come on, we should go see if the students are all right. Master Lee will be waiting. Yeah, yeah. But I came here with a purpose. Hey, old Ming! I need a herb. 
ni ato no napadi irovir koni ok nawate ir um one of the students was wounded during the bandit attack tau ir kona ir suni ir ipoki hey wono wir na no pa ir su isara yo yo Yes, we need that herb. Niato no napadi irovir. Koni uk nawata ir. Oh, it was red. What's the difference between the two grasses? Ir kana. Unnikasuri ir kwana no kasa ir iru. Red silk grass. Remember that. Tasi ir si ir tintu. Okay, it only deadens the pain. So red silk. Thank you for the help. Okay, Niato Koni uk nawata ir. Usair kokonato. Tanat dia. Katana no. Shafato yo. Kokonato si iri pano niniko. So we need to watch out for Fendo. Goodbye for now. Tikotro to waso. Okay. Let's go to Fendo. And. Uk sana ufkane. Yeah, yeah. So Fendo is just up the road here. Let's all ask about that red silk grass. A potential customer is a welcome customer. Okay. What can I do for you? Red silk grass. I'm looking for uh, for ingredients for a medicinal poultice. Poultice, poultice. Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of... No, to make a difference, that's it. You want to gain silver as quick anyway, as possible. I've checked my stocks and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Old Ming suggested red silver grass to cure her wound. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Uh, expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. No. Red silk grass. Give her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. No. Red silk grass. I'll take a red silk grass. I want her to be able to fight safely. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Um, ooh. Should I pick the first option or the second option? I mean, I could pay him. Surely you're not gonna charge full price for a humanitarian cause. Business has been slow. What am I supposed to do? Starve? Fine, fine. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I can charm him. I can use my intuition. Or I can intimidate them. Let's try to charm him. A kind man like yourself wouldn't let the students suffer over a few silvers. I suppose it would be bad for my reputation, and you're well known enough that word would get around. Fine, I'll knock off a yes. piece of silver. Yes! Success! We negotiated a discount for red silver. Here's 40 silver. An excellent choice. 
I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. Yay! There you go. Her pain will fade quickly and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. Let's do this. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. I hope so too. Okay, goodbye for now. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Yeah, yeah. And I lost 40 silver, but it's for a good cause. And I'll see you back at the school. And we're back at the school. Here's Kiamin. And let's give her the poultice. This has been a busy day for us all. Is there something you need? I have a poultice that should help your wound. The sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did it cost? 40 silver. Oh. I can lie and say that it was only 25 silver. I'll make a loss. I can actually actually lie more and say that it cost me 50 silver or I persuaded him to reduce the price to 40 silver tell the truth or I can be charming and say well that, it, that she doesn't need to repay me I think I'm gonna go for the last one I couldn't just leave you wounded that's very kind of you I can't thank you enough if you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready. Okay. Goodbye. Let's do Smiling Mountain's challenge then. And I gained... Wait, where's my character screen? Yeah, I gained more of this. Oh yeah, the open palm. This is the closed fist. Smiling Mountain told us about it. I'm coming, Master Lee. I have something to do first. Hello, Smiling Mountain. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and train. Um... Can we talk about Kiam Min? What is there to say? She tells me that she is feeling much better. If you wish to face her, I will allow it. Great. I would like to challenge Kiam Min's record. Kiam Min says that she is feeling well and her wound seems to be already healing. I believe she will provide a fine challenge for you. Great. If you win this match, then I will have a special reward for you. Good fortunes. I'll try and win it. And... Hey! Come on! Yeah, I know you need healing. Come on. This is your downfall. We did it. That was well only for done. people. As promised, here is a reward for setting a new standard. Kiamin is eager to try again, but I asked her to rest for now. She seems well despite her earlier injury. Is there anything else you wish at the moment? No, I have to go talk to Master Lee. I should go for now, yes. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. I'm bowing as well. You received Aloyd body. Press the attack button to close. And I got 100 silver, so... That's good. Wait, that must be a technique. Aloyd body. Health plus 5, focus plus 5. 
Great! The Aloid Body is a Smiling Mountain's ultimate series of exercises, designed to offset some of the weaknesses the corpulent trainer saw in exercises he de developed earlier in his career. Practicing these holistic exercises strengthens both health and focus. Great! So we got 7 health and all that. Okay, um... Let's talk to Gav the Lesser. Well, it seems you have everyone on your side again. Hero of the village as well as the school. Of course I am. It is a well-earned accolade. We should all be proud. I'm not sure why. Such vermin are barely a threat. I beat a couple of those fools as well, just not the swarm on the beach. Yeah, well... They were a threat to the villagers. I was happy to help. So you are at their beck and call? A service animal for those too weak to protect themselves. That's <laughs> an endless foolish road to go down. Yeah, right. There are always victims, always weaklings. You could live a thousand lives and still someone would be begging for your help. Of course. Uh, what shall we respond to what he said? The week today may be a strong tomorrow, I don't know. This from somebody nobody wants help from. You are barely welcome here at all. Why should I care? I have little interest in the other students here, and even less for the mud farmers outside. I am here to train, nothing more. Yeah, well, you're not learning anything. You'll soon see what I am capable of. I will make sure of it. I'm guessing we have to I'm fight him. With you. Go talk to your precious master. Training will not resume until he has met with you. Well, Gao the Lesser, had you been there on the beach, you would have seen what had happened. First of all, I defeated those bandits. They were very scary. You know, they had weapons and all. I had a weapon as well, so no bother. But they were strong. And then you have not seen what the leader did. You haven't seen that, so... You can spout all your nonsense about, oh yeah, I could have taken them. I bet you were scared. You were scared. Probably more scared if you had seen those ghosts that came. But no. You think you're better than I am? Well, come on, prove it. Come on, I dare you. I dare you. Prove it. Attack me. I'll kick your butt so hard, your father won't be able to pay for your surgery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more important things to at, uh, attend to. Master Lee, hello. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. No. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. Exactly. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. Yeah, I suspected as much. You indeed. have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the spirit cave. What's the I spirit object? cave? Why? Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. Okay, I'll give him that. If you spent less time coddling him, you would have many promising students instead of one. No one is denying your skill, Gao. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment, and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. No, you're not. If he is truly better than me, let him prove it. I challenge him. If that is what you wish, I will accept. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Okay. Gao? 
You are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gower the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Hobbled before I begin. Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. How shall I prepare? I want to ask about this cave and the bandit leader. I will explain what I can after we have dealt with Gao's interruption. I don't want to confuse matters. Trust that I am right. Okay, I'll trust you. I will return when I am ready, Master. Remember the basics. They will serve you well. Is there anything else that I can do? Um, let's take a look at the journal. That's the only thing that I have. Um, I don't think... Um, that I can do anything else. I don't think there are other quests. So, yeah. Um, I think I am ready. Gao awaits your signal to start the challenge, my student. Tell me when you are ready, and I will wait. have the combat ring prepared. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I'll return when I'm ready. Re um, I will save it. Just to be sure. Because I am not going to lose. Gao awaits. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I am ready now. Let's begin. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. He's not gonna fight honorably, I know fighters, that. Fighters, are you ready? This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. Got it. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. I'll kick your butt so hard. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. I've never my gotten friends. in your way. Begin. You've gotten in your own way. <laughs> Ow! Oh, he... Heavenly way. Legendary strike. <laughs> Heavenly way. Let's heal. Let's heal. Ow. Let's heal again. Heavenly way. Legendary strike. Dead. I killed. I kicked his ass. I kicked his butt. I'm sorry. The heavenly it's wave was done. good. The challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. Bow. No! I'm not finished. Okay. That was Gal, I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path, but you are too much the son of Gao the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here, despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! Hey! I beat you your were ass! by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now.
Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. I don't need the congratulations. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. Oh, really? That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Lee has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. He just said that he would ex exclude him from the school. He would talk about him about expulsion, so... That's... That story writing doesn't really add up. Master Lee does what he must. He is our master. But don't you wish that some things made more sense? Anticipation is grueling. So much could be happening that you just don't know about. That's life. It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him. Okay, I got some more. Are there no fonts here? There are no spirit fonts, whatever. Don't stop. You should speak with Master Lee. He yeah, okay. But first, I want to talk to the other students. Jing Wu. Gao was a fool for challenging you. Oh, he's good, but you've always been stronger. He just wouldn't admit it to himself. Exactly. Thing is, your prize is going into the cavern beneath the school. To hear Lin tell it, that place is going to challenge even you. Oh, okay, a challenge. What do you know about the ca cavern? Next to nothing. I know Master Lee forbids us to go in there until our final test, but that's about the only fact I have. I hate repeating stories that aren't my own. Lin has no such qualms, so go ask her about the cavern. I will do that. Smiling Mountain. Gao's actions were foolish. He knew he could not beat you fairly, and so he chose to catch you by surprise. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good. No, no, no. I need and I don't need anything for Goodbye. now. Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. I mean, Gao was strong. I'll hand him that. I had some issues, but that heavenly wave really came in handy. It slowed him down enough so that I could change back to the legendary strike and then BAM! He was done for! Student win. Master Li once asked me not to use the style I learned in the Imperial City. It was a fair request, so I agreed. Gao should have known better than to use a forbidden style. What can I do to help you? Uh. Do you know anything about the cavern beneath the school? I haven't been here long enough to hear anything but rumors. Everyone prefers not to think about that place. I certainly don't envy you for having to go down there. Hey. Um. Buh, 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 buh. Take care, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Thank you, student Wen. You're Kia Min. You fought well, and the record is yours. Thank you. I'm happy for you and couldn't care less about the record. It was just good to fight again and feel no pain. Thank you. Thank I'm you. a bit tender right now, but that's to be expected. I should be in much better shape before long. Great. This day has been full for you, and you still have the cavern to face. Yes, indeed. If you listen to Lin parroting the villagers' stories, that place has a dark past, but I'm sure Master Lee wouldn't send you into unreasonable danger. Probably not. What can I do for you? Uh... Goodbye for now. Goodbye. You're Lin. You're the one I need to talk to. Gao was a fool to cheat. Exactly. Our teacher is a kind man, but he is not soft and doesn't tolerate that kind of thing. Exactly. Can be kind we'll face worse and severe. Than Gao in the cavern if what I've heard is right. I hope you're ready. Okay, Lin. What do you need from me? Lin. What have you heard about the cavern beneath the school? 
No one really knows anything about that cavern, except that Master Lee has strictly forbidden us to go in there. Okay. He has always said that it is a place of final testing. I hear whispered rumors that there's something horrible down there. I even something asked horrible? around town, and there's old, old stories of masters before ours sending students into that cavern, and the students never finding their way out. So I'll probably see dead bodies. Do you know what this horrible thing is supposed to be? I don't have a clue, but I don't envy you having to go down there. Then again, you are the strongest of us, as we're so often reminded, so you'll be fine. And where did you learn about the cavern? This is all rumor, mostly gossip from the people in Two Rivers. As I said, no one really knows what's down there. Well, no one but you, once you tell Master Lee you're ready. Um, b -b -b goodbye for now. Leaving so soon? Oh well, back to my training. Do you have a crush on me? She probably has a crush on me. Student, student. Okay. There's Gao. There's Master Li. And then if we look at the map, Master Li has a plot point for us. There are the fonts. Um, so yeah. I think I will leave today's episode right here. We've ended it on a fight with Gao the Lesser. I don't think it's the last we've seen of him. I think he still has some part to play in the story. I'm not sure it's the first time I'm playing this game, so yeah. But I do think he will have some sort of significance um, in the story. He is an antagonist. I mean, the way he's acted and all that. He's clearly one sort of antagonist. Could he help us later on if he really learns how to act properly like Master Lee has taught him? I don't know. Or will he remain the antagon an antagonistic figure? We shall see that later in the story. But next time we're gonna talk to Master Lee and we're gonna hit up that cavern and see what horrible thing awaits us there. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.